All right, guys, welcome back to the MLB Nine Innings YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jay Fish, and we're back on MLB Nine Innings. So we have the big update, the big season update for 2024 season came last week. We also got new fifth historic players, and we got some new updates within the game as well in terms of how the game is played. It's changed around a little bit. New skills, um, a new basic stat adjustment, tons of stuff added in the past what week, but it's been two weeks since we, since we streamed. So we're going to be covering all that today. Literally, we have... Um, everything to do at the beginning of the month because this is a new month. Um, opening day was on Thursday, so like I said, we got the season update here. So I have to go over that. Um, we have that update to go over it, the live update. Um, and then we are going to be doing some pack openings. We're going to be opening our first 10 5th Historic Player packs. We're bringing back the Kaching today. And we'll see if we get any of the Supremes. There's five new Supremes we can get. We'll see how many we get today, if we get any at all. We have some vintage packs as well. And then we'll be opening up some other packs like premium packs. Ultra packs, diamond packs, 11 diamond player select packs, prime packs, vintage packs. Um, it's going to be a big one, guys. We have a lot to cover in a small amount of time, literally just an hour. So we're going to try and get right into this thing. Also, coupon code at the end of the stream, two premium packs and a skill training ticket we'll give out, out at the end. And then also, there is a, a coupon code on the Rivals channel. We just uploaded a highlight video about an hour ago that has the coupon code in the description there for Rivals as well, if you guys would like that. If you guys have not already subscribed, and liked on this channel rivals we highly appreciate that as well and let's see who's in here let's get this thing going opening day baseball's back how are we feeling how are we feeling after the first i should say weekend opening weekend of baseball how's your team doing what did you guys think the reds um won the opening day on thursday lost um a, the game on saturday sadly uh they were up 6-4 alexis diaz blew the save and they lost that on Saturday, but then yesterday they were down 5-3, two outs, bottom of the ninth, India gets a double, Benson hits a two-run shot, the next at-bat, and then the next at-bat to that, um, Encarnacion Strand gets his first hit of the year, 0 for 12, first of the year walk-off home run. Reds walk off yesterday, 6-5. Crazy stuff. And then Dodgers obviously came back last night. They couldn't do it, I believe, Saturday night. Otani had the bases loaded with two outs, and he ended up popping out the shorts. So I was like, man, come on, Atani. Come on, bro. You got to come in clutch. That's not a good start. That's not a good start. But, Kate, what's up? Glad you can make it. The Court Jester, hello. Red Double X, good to see you here. Arnon, what is up? Omri, what is up? Glad you can make it. ABT, hello. Peter C, good to see you here. Paul, what's up? I'm buying some historic packs later tonight. Hopefully the stream. Ooh. So you're, bu you're basing off what you buy tonight off of the how this stream goes. Interesting, Paul. That's risky like Mitch Trubisky, but glad you can make it, bro. <laughs> Will Tucker, what's up? Glad you can make it. Um, if I pronounce this wrong, I apologize. I don't have no, is it Helenson? If I pronounced that wrong, I apologize, but what's up? John, glad you can make it. Some fire pack openings tonight. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Fenway Nation 50, what is up? Glad you can make it. Had a great swing. Let's go. Hey, keep me updated. I want to know if you make it. That's awesome. How about the Yankees? I know. Swept the Astros to start the season, man. Juan Soto coming in clutch. And he's looking like a great trade. If they can stay healthy, man, the injury bug has caught up with them every year, I feel like. If they can stay healthy this year, whew, I like that start. I like that start. That was the first, I think, 3 0 start they had. What's those 4 0 start? I think in like 20 years, something like that. Larry, what's up, brother? Glad you can make it, Bobby. Good to see you here. Gotta, what is up? Kick out, what is up? How is it going, my man? Good to see you, brother. I'm doing good, Gotta, by the way. Will Tucker, how's it going? Cole, what is up? Shay, 52, glad you can make it. H-Town, what's up, my man? Carlitos, good to see you here, rocking the stash. Life on a gauge, man. Yeah, hey, she likes the facial hair. Even if I didn't like it, she likes it. So, I'm, hey, whatever makes her happy, right? <laughs> Sunday Golfer, 79, glad you can make it. Garrett, what is up? Yeah. How did your, okay, all I'm going to say is, how did your team do, record-wise, too? Even if, like, you didn't put it in the chats. Like, how are we feeling to start the season? Whatever team you guys are rooting for. Whatever your ho hometown team is or whoever you root for. Pencil, what's up? Thoughts on the new season? Otani's have places bet stuff. Uh, we're not even going to get into the Otani bet stuff. Not on this channel. I talked about it on my own channel. I'm not talking about it here. <laughs> oh, Bobby, what is up? Glad you can make it. Did I miss anyone else? If you haven't said hello, I will shout you guys out. Good to see you here. Sunday Golfer. Yes, free is we need a compensation historic pack like we got for the second historic. Those would be nice. Andrew, what is up? Marcel, good to see you here. Austin, what's up? Travis, glad you can make it. Brandon, hello. Larry, what is up? Braves off to a decent start. Yes, Carlitos. 
What's up? Good to see you here. Did I miss anyone else? Phillies fan, good to see you here. What I'm going to play MLB 24, my Dodgers team. Thursday, pack opening on my Dodgers account on my channel, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I have not announced that yet, but that will be this week. We'll be doing the season package with the special TSS and stuff. I will also be doing a pack opening on Rivals in that same stream after 9 innings 24. It'll be my first update on the team in a long time. First pack opening I've done on the team in a long time, and I'm planning on making a video out of that one too. So that's both this Thursday and then videos this weekend. So on my own channel. So, JC, what's up? Happy new season to you as well. Ralph, good to see you. Big Poppy's back. We have a lot to talk about. We do. We do. Fire Dog Entertainment, what is up? Kureshi Smith, what is up? If I pronounced that wrong, I apologize. Carlos, glad you can make it, brother. And if you haven't said hello, say what is up. I'll try and shout you guys out, but we got to get this thing going. So first things first, we have a lot to talk about. Not only do we have an update, we have the whole new season that got applied and everything. It's been 9 News 24, but we got the new title screen. We got the new season in master mode and league mode and everything. And just everything that's going on. It's, it's going to be, it's a big update, a lot to cover. So Travis, what's up, by the way? Renan, how's it going? Parker, good to see you here. Ben R, glad you can make it, brother. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing going. First things first, let's talk about the new events or the events that we have going on right now. So, first one that we have going on, which I don't think we covered this. The last time we streamed, yeah, the last time we streamed this event was not out. It started on March 21st. It ends on April 10th, but pretty much if you log in for eight days, you get a sig pack at day eight, and then you get stars for each even times that you log in. So two, four, six, eight. Besides that, that's pretty much it. That's all that the event has. Just log in all eight days and get your sig pack and everything else here. Um, let's see what else we got going on. If the game would decide not to lag, come on. I don't know if it's my computer that's running slow. I've tried my computer. It always gets butchered by the overall analysis, which we're about to do. This is a new event going on, the 888 Draws event. So you get 888 premium packs from this event. It's going to be over a span of two months, I believe. But it is because this is the eighth year of MW9 Innings. Um, because we'll have the eighth anniversary, I believe, in October. So they're doing this event for that, I believe. And so pretty much you have your 100 premium player packs per mission week that you have. So there's eight week mission, there's eight mission weeks. So this will be two months. So we got week one right here, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven, and week eight. You get 100 premium player packs each week. So each time it opens up, you get 100 right off the bat, boom. So that's 800 there. And then as we go up, You have missions each week. So if you complete the five daily missions or you complete five days of missions in each of these single week missions that we have. So week one right here, open on the 28th. The next one opens on uh, April 8th. You complete all these missions. So you get a new mi mission each day. You complete that, you do it five times, you get those items down there as well. And that's the same thing for each mission. So here it's awesome player pack times three, plus premium picture pack times eight, prime pack, signature pack, on week five, on the week four missions, gold pack week five, week six, uh, three vintage packs, week seven, teams like dime pack, and then you get another signature pack, I believe, at week eight. Yes, yeah, so you get two sig packs from this. So over a span of two months, not really anything else I can show you guys right now, but um, yeah. So that's how that works. Any questions, let me know. But I'm not gonna complain getting 888 premium packs and two sig packs from this from completing all the missions. So did I miss anyone else on here? You guys are coming in, say what is up, I haven't had said hello. Raphael, what is up? Um, the Court Jester, how's it going? Yes, you beat me to it, but if you hit the 888 right here, you get an ultimate player pack, but we've already done it on this account. So if you click this right here, you see where that square, that rectangle pops up when I click that, you get an ultimate player pack from that, so. Jabron23, good to see you here. From time to salt arcs right now, yes, yes. If you are planning on doing an alt or you we're thinking about one, do one right now. Especially the opening season. Opening season, all-star, and playoffs slash off-season, right? Beginning of off-season, best times to start and off. Those are the three big major times. Best time out of all of them, probably the opening. Uh, all right, let's see, let's see. Curveball, Z126, what's up, Toby, hello. Bob, good to see you here. I'm gonna say anyone else, I don't think so, but I'll keep shouting, shouting you guys out as you come in. So that event's going on. We also got the new 5th Historic event. It's changed a little bit from the 4th Historic event that we had, but pretty much you can get 50 points a day. 
pretty much playing all the other game modes just like before. And then you can accumulate them each month, and you can spend 300 to get a player, one of the fifth, uh, fifth of sword players, which we'll all cover in just a second. Um, you can get a diamond vintage one time. So whatever player you choose the first time for this event, when you recruit, you can get a diamond the first time. After that, they're all golds. So that's the event one, that hasn't really changed. Event two is the same. If you have extra points after the 300 points to get a player, you can spend them down here and get your team select diamond pack. And then after each month, your points that you have available will reset. So if you, let's say you get 50 points a day, so you have 1500 points for 30 days in a month. If you don't use them, they reset and you won't be able to use them anymore after each month. So make sure you guys use them. And then the last thing we have here is, this is I think kind of new. I don't think we've had anything like this before. Event three, I believe, spans across all six months. So this will, this started, what? What was the exact day? April 1st, so today, all the way till September 30th. So six months, I believe this event three goes on. And however many points you accumulate each day, you can spend them right here. So if you get 1500 points, which I believe takes about a month there, if you do the 50 points a day, you get 10 black diamond pieces. 3000 is about another month. You get a sig pack, uh, 4500 is about another month worth. You get the ultimate trainer recruit ticket times one. Then 5,500 points is about two thirds a month right there on top of it. Gives you a green ticket. And then if you do 6,500 points for the whole event for all six months, I believe you get a blue change ticket um, there as well. But if you have any questions on this event, let me know. It's slimmer than how it is in the past. Uh, it's a little bit different, but it's pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. But if you have questions, like I said, let me know. So KCAL, they don't reset. So the, the available points I'm pretty sure reset. From what I was reading, available points reset at 12 a.m. on the first day of every month. So these points do, based off of what that says, that the language that they have in that notice right there for that question on the event. So the available points for this, I believe for the first two events that you can use to get these items, reset each month. Event three, the total points don't reset. That's cumulative over, I believe, this whole six months this event is up. You guys, have any questions on that, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that's how that works. The available points here that you can spend reset each month, but the total points don't, which is how you can get the other rewards. I could be wrong, but based off of what I read that this morning, that's how I took it. It's just like it was in the past, so I don't know. Um, let's see, did I miss anyone else? Extra BFB, what's up? Should I make my alt now? Um, No comment on that right now. Who knows, maybe I made an alt, maybe I didn't. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Carlitos, what is up? Pulled Goose. Nice, nice. Pitchers Chem. Perfect. Perfect. GG's. Let's see. No more Jackie. Yes. Yep. Didn't miss anyone else. One of two with Goose. Nice, nice. Austin, what's up? I think it said hello. Okay. That's it for the fifth historic event that just came on. I don't think there's anything else. Um, technically, the spring training event is still going on, but you can't get points anymore. You can't get any more coins. That's done. So... If you you go up here, you go to special shop. If you have any of these left, spend them before the five days are up, but you can't earn any more from league mode. That is done, so. Gendry, what's up? Glad you can make it. Dates when they reset. So it'll be at the end of the month. So I believe when it starts, so like once April 30th is done, I believe 12 a.m. of May 1st is when that'll reset for the fifth historic event. I think that's how it works. It could be different because there's some days with 31 days, months with 31 days in it, but. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, let's see. Off season draw event. So we did get new primes before the off season draw event went away, which was I believe after March 31st. New primes came March 28th, I believe. So you guys were able to get your diamond primes if they your team got new primes, which we got bets. We obviously couldn't show it because that event went away before the stream, but the new primes came. Uh, Betts got a new prime for the Dodgers, and Otani got a pitcher's and a pitcher and batter prime, I believe, for both the 23 season. And we went ahead. Man, what is going on? My PC. Hang in there, buddy. Can we load? There we go. We ended up getting Otani. 23 prime that just came out. He got a prime for 23. We went with the batter because we already have the pitcher 22 sig. Are we gonna do anything with Otani? We're not gonna put him in the DH spot over Babe Ruth right now. And he can't go on the bench. He has to go in the DH spot, I believe. So like if we went to try and put him on the bench, we can't. But if we put him in DH, we could. 
even though we have him as a pitcher. So he's just chilling. We got him. Not really anything else we're going to do with him right now. But you, you guys were able to get new primes from that event if you waited to get your diamond prime as of, I believe, March 28th, and you had three days to do it. We got Otani 20. Wolverine, what is up, Haram? How's it going, Manuel? How's it going as well? So dumb that they added the new prime so late. Yes, I didn't like that. Normally it's in February. I don't know the reason why it was added late. I don't know if it was a rights thing or how that worked, but I have no clue. Okay, so that's that for the off-season draw event. Pick them. Pick them is back as of, I guess technically you could do pick them for the Dodgers Padres when you had the Korea series going on. But pick them is officially back as of opening day starting on the 28th last week. So pretty much nothing's changed here. It's exactly the same thing, except you have the ultimate trainer ticket. Some of the rewards have changed a little bit, but it's the same exact streaks and everything. If you have any questions about Pick'em, let me know, but it's the exact same thing, it's open now. Also, we got um, Event Shop Reset along with the Pick'em. We have Event Shop Reset, so if you go up here, click Special Shop, you go to Event Shop. If you have enough event coins, if you have 6,000 more, you can now buy your next SIG pack once per season from this shop. Let's go ahead and do that, boom. And so that reset, if you bought a SIG pack last year, it now reset, you can go ahead and buy another one. Um, anything else before we get into the update? Okay, so we have the stimulus overall analysis, new month, April 1st. Make sure you get your guys' 300 stars. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. Your lower overall team right around the 90 mark or 100 mark, I'd say don't even look at the results. Just get your 300 stars and get out. Uh, yes, Bobby, you beat me to it. You, bu you beat me to it. Same your season up. We're getting to that Red Devil X. You guys are, I have my list. You guys are saying everything that I'm trying to get to. <laughs> you guys are you guys are on it today. You guys are on it. We're gonna get to the uh, we're gonna get to the season opening special gifts here in a second. I appreciate you guys though. We're 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 slowly working our way through it. It's a lot. It's a lot to cover today. And yes, pencil. <laughs> I haven't been able to get to that point yet, but yes, primes are in my free agent. We'll show that in a second. I appreciate you guys for the reminders though. This is all stuff we. <laughs> We, uh, we have on the list, but it's just a matter of trying to get to all of them. So as long as my PC decides to take a good solid five minutes to get through 162 games of overall analysis when my iPhone does it in about 10 seconds, we'll be catching up in the chat for a minute. Vent stop giving points on 29th. Yes. The vent always like about a week or so before it actually ends, like the shop goes away. It actually, the vent, the coin event technically stops a week before like where you can actually get coins you can still spend them for that last week i don't know why they do it like that but they do the normal 22 i don't know i've seen that with some cards being better and some cards being worse i don't know why some prime cards are better than the base cards and some aren't it never was like that in the past i don't know if it's a new thing they're adding this year with the new primes or what but i've seen that like the bets 23 prime for the dodgers his 23 prime is better than the normal base card and the sig card that's just like the base card so i don't know yeah primes and for my fridge is nice yep yep it was team sig and rivals with neither dud nor dupe hey you got a video on it can you send it to me Great community, I know, you guys are on it. I'll just have you guys, I'll have you guys talk about all the updates. I'll just let the chat, I'll just enlarge the chat on the stream and just have you guys type out everything for the new update. You guys are on it today. Ace dropped the new vid, I have to check it out. I'm going to start making some 9i content this summer, awesome. I encourage you to. Uh, Alejandro, what is up? 300 stars, boom, we're done there. Last thing we gotta do before we get into the update is the weekly mission box, so. And also we have the club box reward. We're not going to show that, but if you're in a club, make sure you get your club box reward each um, two week cycle. So whenever you get your rewards for battles, make sure you go get your reward box as well. So let's see what we can get here. And then we're ready to get on the update. League ball recharge ticket times one. I guess I'll take it. I guess I'll take it. We'll see, we'll see. All right, where do we want to start? We'll start with the we'll start with the normal update, then do live update, and then we'll show off some of the new things, and then we got to get right to the pack openings. 
Uh, I'm already feeling crammed for time. We got 40 minutes left and we have a lot of packs open too. So the new update, the new 2024 season update. Let's go to the 9.0.2 update pre-notice. So this is the update that came out last week. And so pretty much we got the new main title and icon screens. It's a little bit different than last year. We still got Trout and Kendra Free on there. Looking pretty sweet. Got the new 2024 league data added as well. 2024 live players are here as well. Unused uh, uh, uniforms are added to the vaults and we got new uniforms added as well. And sponsor sleeves are added to the patches or added to the uniforms as patches this year as well. So like the reds have Kroger on them. They'll have those sponsor patches in on the uniforms in the game as well. Um, new rules. So the tiebreaker rule will be added to the league uh, mode. Pretty much it's just like how it is in real life where you have the runner second base and stuff like that. Other rules and stuff change. You guys can read that. We're not going to cover that too in depth. We got the fifth historic players added. So Mariana Rivera, Bob Gibson, Dennis Eckerly, uh, Eddie Murray, and Joe Morgan. It's nice to see a red in there and see some A's love. It's nice to see some A's love right there. But those are the five new players. We'll get into that today. We have five, actually 10 of these fifth historic packs. We're trying to pull them today. Mariana Rivera is the one I want the most, along with Dennis. Um, I love seeing some more bullpen Supreme cards because we technically only have one, which I believe is, I'm blanking right now. We literally have them. I'm not going to go out. Who was the one that we had? I literally, oh, Hoffman, Trevor Hoffman. That's the one we have. But Joe Morgan would be nice being a Reds fan as well. And then Yankees continue to get richer just like the Dodgers do. So, but there's the cards. They have, um, some of them have multiple years in terms of SIGs and Vintagers, but then you also have their Supremes. And that's the list right there. We're not gonna cover all that. But Eddie Murray also has a Dodger um, card as well. So he has the Baltimore Supreme, but he has a Dodger for the 90 as well. So any questions on that, let me know. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, I don't know why Hoffman was just falling out of my head, but. Player draw event stopped giving on the 29th because it messed up. What are you talking about player draw event? I saw people, I was able to get it all the way up, I think, up to the 31st. I, ha I saw some people having problems with that, but I didn't, I know some people didn't have problems with that. So I don't know if that's for sure true, if it was stopped on the 29th or not, but. Yeah, no more 19 inning league games. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to miss that low key. Ethan, what's up? How can, you get how can you get the reward for watching? At the end of the stream, we will put out the coupon code in the chat of the live stream, and you can click on that, and it'll take you to your game, and you'll get it that way. It's two premiums and a skill training ticket. Zach, what's up? Glad you can make it from Detroit. Love hearing it. Love hearing it. The Court Chester, what's up? Does anyone else let me know? Ace is glad you can make it, brother. Okay, so let's see. We got new skills. So we got new um, legend gold and silver batter and pitcher skills. So we got hard hitter legend skill, super sub gold skill, um, strength in the strength gold skill, and overcome weakness silver skill in terms of batters, which... We're not going to cover in depth today, but when we do an upgrading stream, which will probably be sometime later this month, probably the end of this month, we'll go more in depth on these skills. But since there's so much to cover in the stream, we're not going to dive into these skills yet. But these are brand new skills that have not been in the game before. I don't remember. I don't think we've gotten new skills added besides legend skills like gold skills and silver since I started playing this game back in 20. Like we had new legend skills because obviously legend skills were new after I started playing the game. But gold and silver, first time we're seeing new gold and silver skills since I think before 20. I could be wrong, but the legend skills we've had obviously new skill legend skills because legend skills weren't a thing. But and then for pitcher skills we got the legend workers workhorse skill, and then we got elite closer and ground baller that are gold skills, and then pace setter which is silver skill for pitchers. I haven't pulled any of these yet. I have no clue how these work and which ones are really good and which ones aren't as good. Like I said, we'll dive in this more down the road, especially when we do an upgrade screw stream from someone we pull this stream or the next stream or whatever. So, and let's see. Last thing on this is we have the improvement of existing skills, which clean up your mess and put away pitch got um, improved. And you can read right there on how they changed them. And then also you can test out the effects as well. We're not gonna go into depth to that today, but apparently mess has gotten better. So last time gold skills were added, it was Dom and Finn, some of the best. Yeah, that was before 2020, before November of 2020, because that's when I started playing the game. Um, so 
The last time gold skills were added, Diamond Finn, that they were already in the game at that point, so. New legend skills suck, says 3P11. Hey, I haven't even tried them out yet, so. <laughs> no one cares about same like or relief pitchers or closing pitchers, yeah. It's a little more important on starting pitchers now, but definitely nothing useful on bullpen, guys. All right, so we also got the UI improvements here, and I'm liking it. Like, this is the loading screen. Um, you have the scoreboard at the bottom of the screen now. And just some other things they changed there UI-wise. It looks clean. That's all I will say. It looks good. I don't think it got worse. I think it got better. So, Supposedly they nerfed the dot fin and Dom combo. Wouldn't surprise me. There's a lot of stuff to still test and stuff and see, but obviously as I continue to play, I have some guys with Finn and Dom combos. They're probably, they probably won't be as good, and I'll, I'll be able to tell just by playing. We also got new items added, guys. So we got a basic stat adjustment ticket. So pretty much, you know how you have your base stats for the card that you could never change before, and it was set? Well, now you can change those. We have basic stat adjust tickets, which you have bronze, silver, and gold. For the bronze, the stat will either change one or two overall. Silver, two to three, and gold, three to four. And so pretty much what happens is it chooses a random stat to increase. So let's say you have a pitcher that has low velo, like uh, Tian, a legend pitcher like Tian who has low velo. You can use one of these, and let's say you use a bronze. Technically, there's a possibility that velo could go up one or two points. And whatever goes up, there it chooses another random um, stat to go down the same amount of points, which we're going to show this in the stream. And so you have the bronze, silver, and gold, and pretty much all that the tiers does is change the amount of stat that changes. But it's completely random. Completely random on what stats change um, and go up and go down. So and it has to be a diamond or a black diamond player that you can use it on. Um, we'll show this off in a second. And then you can only use this once per player, I believe. So once you use a basic stat adjust ticket, you can't use another one, I believe. And if you would like to, if you don't like what happened, if you don't like what changed, you can reset the changes and it'll go back to what it originally was. Um, so right here, as you can tell, Trout, this card right here, got plus three I. So then it shows another uh, stat that went minus three, which is speed. Um, I think that's all we're gonna talk about. We'll show this off in just a second. We'll choose a player and show you guys. And then we got new City Connects coming in. We got Seattle, uh, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Rangers, Braves, and then Cincy, which I love the Cincy ones. And then let's see, anything else? Change some calculation me methods on stats. We're not going to cover that really in depth at all. And so that's it for the 9.0.2 2024 season update. Any questions, let me know. Let's see. I, let's check up on this. Gameplay is better. This is, adjustments are no good. Yeah, they're no good if it doesn't help. Like for my Jerry um, on the Dodgers, he has low velo. So if I got his stamina 73, I think his velo 68. So if I got, if I use a gold stat adjustment and I got four and it went to velo, so it got to 72 and stamina went down to 69, that would be helpful. But it also cannot be helpful and actually hurt you depending on what type of card and position they are. As well so stat I wish they had adjust tickets where you could choose the stat that you wanted to upgrade and it randomly chooses the other one to decrease which they may add that down the road but right now that's all we have it's random completely random but it's cool that you can adjust the basic stats now I guess I never thought they would do this but lags the game well with the new UI and the new updates Especially when it's something brand new in terms of UI, you can expect it to probably be a little bit laggy before they get to optimize it. But yes, it, it can be a little laggy at times. Let's see. Uh, did, I, did I miss anyone else? Using them for fielding, okay. Did I miss anyone else? Dodgers changing their city connects. Yes, they are changing them. We probably won't get that until next year, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the live update real quick. Um, where is that at? So we got lots of new players added. We got the new primes and everything in here. So we got new signature players. It highlights some of the new ones right here. We're not going to cover all of these. We're literally just going to cover the Dodgers, the Angels, and the Reds pretty much. So Angels got um, Frank. And in terms of pitchers, Reds got Harang. And then the Dodgers got Singer in terms of pitchers. And then for batters, 
Let's show. Uh, we got Sam, um, Tim, we got Edmonds, we got Chili Davis, and then let's go to the Dodgers. So we got Allen, Wynn, and Daniels, and then Reds got Davis, Casey, and Ed. In terms of new SIGs right there, you guys can look at this list in the live update notice in the news. We got new primes, finally. We normally got these in February, like in the middle, towards the end of February. This year we got them literally March 28th, right at the end of March. Don't know why I was so delayed, but we got new primes in there. And so we got Otani that got a prime for the 22 season as a pitcher. And then Otani also got a prime for the 23 season as a batter, which I believe he's, yeah, he's the only one that the Angels got this year. You got, we got an Otani pitcher and batter prime for the Angels, and that's it. And then let's show off, let's cover the Dodgers real quick, where the Dodgers at. So Bueller 19 got a prime. Sonny Gray 19 got a prime for the Reds. And then, let's see, let's see. Castellanos got a prime for 21 season. And then Betts got a prime for the 23 season, which I that's who I chose from the prime draw event on my Dodgers account, even though I already have his 23 sick. Yes, we're about to get into that, Aces. Yes, yes, yes. Miller card, yes. Heavy hitter skill. Yeah, I haven't been able to test them out yet. I haven't even used any skill change tickets yet since they've come out, so. We also got some more new players, guys. I've been talking about this for a while. I think my number one player I was talking about that I wanted to add to the game was Big Poppy, and we got him. Big Poppy is back in the game. We got Matsui and all the rest of them right here. There's six of them, but Big Poppy is the big one for me. Boston decks like Aces in 2018. Big Poppy's back, baby. So shout out to you guys. But yeah, so he's got an 05, 06, and 07 year. All DH first base, and his prime year is 06. Um, also got some new faces, new stances, some other things changing right here. And then the skill mileage got changed. We're not gonna cover that here. We're just gonna go show you guys the skills there as well. We're not going to show that right here. It's easier to just show it in an actual screen. Uh, str screen. New live players are here. We got the live packs back um, and some roster changes. Besides that, that's it for the live update. Any questions, let me know. Yes, yes. Big Poppy's finally back, baby. Oh, yeah. I. You guys know. When you guys would ask who I would love to see come back, Big Poppy was always one of my first choices. Even though I'm not a... Like a big Red Sox fan, like I don't mind them. Like they're cool. If they played the Dodgers, I want the Dodgers to win. If they played the Reds, I want the Reds to win. But if I'm just watching them, watch them. I don't care. Um, big Poppy, though. It's good to see him back. It's good to see him back. Return of the Mac, what's up? Yes, I know. When I saw Big Poppy was back, my eyes lit up. I was so excited. But also, in terms of new primes, you guys already mentioned this today, but you go to player recruitment, you can now get primes in the my free agency so if you go to my free agent and you reset this which we can't today you can get primes now you don't see any primes here but aces in 2018 can vouch for me that yesterday on my dodgers i did the my free agency and i ended up getting a kimbrel prime to pop up i think in this first spot on the left i have a screenshot aces knows what i'm talking about i did i have seen actually two or three primes on my dodgers account since this update came in. I saw an Astros Prime, I believe it was Altuve, of course, I'm getting trolled already in the My Free Agency, and we got a Kimbrel as well. So you can now get Primes in My Free Agency, which is pretty nice. Obviously, they're going to be Diamonds. It's good stuff. Uh, let's see, let's see. So the only thing we got to do now is show off the new mileage system for the skill change, for the premium skill change tickets, and then we'll show off the basics that adjustment, and then we're going to packs, okay? Yeah, Aces, yeah. When I sent that to you guys, I know you guys didn't need him as a Prime, but it just made me think of you guys. I thought it was funny that one of the first Primes I saw on there was, of course, um, Boston Red Sox Prime. And thankfully we win here. I forgot, you can't get these anymore. You can't get the Spring Training gift box if you haven't logged in uh, since they came in. But three and four came out since the last time we streamed, so let's just go ahead and use them. There's three right there. And four, boom. I forgot that those were even in there. But yeah, you guys can't get those anymore. So if you made this account um, and made an account after that went away, you can't get them anymore. But we just had to open them up. So let's go ahead and show off the premium skill change ticket mileage system. So it's changed. It used to only go to 500, guys. And if this ever loads, that'll be sweet. Baseball pitcher, what is up? Glad you can make it. 
Gotten a prime in my fridge past two days? Yeah, I've seen it two or three times. Carl's gotten two primes. Has anyone not seen primes yet? I feel like they, they show up a decent amount. Like the rates are pretty high for them to show up. It's not bad. Why Jackie get taken out had to have been licensing was based off of what I, I'm, I'm guessing, so. But so the premium skill change mileage used to go to 500, which would be every 50 premium skill change tickets you use, you would complete that whole mileage system and get a legend skill change ticket. They've now revamped it to go up to 1,000. And so every 100 mileage or about 10 premium skill change tickets you use, you get one back on the uh, first 10, second 10, third 10, fourth 10, and then at 50 or 500 mileage, you get a legendary skill change ticket, but you can keep going after that and you can get at 60, 600, another premium, 70, another premium. At 80 or 800, you get a green ticket now. At 900, you get a blue ticket. And then at 1,000, you get another Legends of Skill Change ticket. And then it resets there. So they changed it, added some better rewards. There's no normal Skill Change tickets like you could get from the last mileage system. And then also they added pretty much like a battle pass. So you know how we have the... Let's show you. How we have the... Gold pass and diamond pass, we pretty much have this for the mileage system now. Just like you could do in arcade mode, when you can buy the pass right here. It's the same thing. You can now buy extra rewards from the premium mileage system right here. If you click on this, you can unlock. So if you, let's say you get this full, this bar full, you get to a thousand. If you don't buy this, you don't get in the rewards down here. But if you buy the special mileage, uh, right here that pass for 50 bucks you get everything else if you complete that full bar which you have a premium 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 green premium blue legend premium 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 green blue legend that's for 50 bucks now it's there will i be uh purchasing that probably not but yeah you have a battle pass within the premium skill change to get mileage now <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're not going to show that off today. We'll be able to show this mileage system off once we have some cards to work on at the end of the month because we have two big pack openings this month. We have the store packs this week, and then two weeks from now, we're most likely going to be doing the special TSS, huge sick pack opening, team pack opening and everything. So we'll have players to work on at the end of the month to show this off. Um, and the last thing to show you guys is the basic stat adjustment. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll just do a bronze one. Just to start, so pretty much the only thing the difference between bronze, silver, and gold, like I said, is the amount that the stat changes. So bronze is one to two randomly, silver is two to three randomly, and gold is the best at three to four randomly. But it could also be the worst if it takes down a stat that you didn't want it to take down. So, so let's go ahead and use one of these to show you guys how this works, um, and then we'll get into packs. So let's just go ahead and find a player. I haven't really thought about who would I want to change. Let's look at Weaver. Uh, I don't know who I'd want to change at the moment. I don't want to touch Otani. I might just do someone on the bench low key. All right, you know what? No matter what changes, we're just, yes. Um, I don't know, was it Aces that came in? They did add color to the Supreme cards, by the way. Yes, I saw that. There's proof of it right there, Hoffman. The cards used to be black and white, now they have color from the actual player. Um, but that's what we'll do. We'll just choose a random player and we'll reset it. So let's just go to Trout. Since we're on the Angels deck, let's use Trout for a second. Um, so pretty much there says basic stats on the left right there. So getting fielding higher, if let's like we had a shortstop and we he had lower fielding and you wanna get fielding higher, that would be good. But pretty much you just do this, you press it, and it randomly chooses a stat. You can't choose what stat. Hit yes, and then it'll show you. So contact went up one, field went down one. So now his contact was, it was a 75, now it's a 76. Fielding was 63, now it's a 62. And it'll show you what changed right there. And then boom, that's it. And then if you want to, you can reset it, which we'll go ahead and reset because we're not gonna apply that right now. It takes 10,000 points and boom. There you go. That's how that works. Any questions, let me know, but Let's just go ahead and uh, get in the pack open now. You don't like it, you don't apply it. Exactly. It's nice that you can reset it, though. Because that would be really sad if you could not reset. 
Patrick, what's up? Any tips just started? Main thing I talk about, especially when you're just starting nine innings. First of all, try and get your diamond set deck first. So if we go here, you go to lineup, you go to set deck. Try and get your diamond set deck first. Get all diamond players, because every diamond player will get all stats plus five if you get all of them. And then start working on your team set deck. Start getting team diamonds from there on. So then you want to have at least 24 team players and diamond players to get the all stats plus five to all your players. That's the main thing I talk about when starting. And then play as many game modes as possible and play a lot of league mode. Uh, best mode to grind still has to be League Master. I mean, that's that's what I still do. Obviously, other modes, you get rewards, especially for ranking, but yeah. League Master and then normal Master mode if you don't have League Master. So. Yes, Yankees Mario and Rivera was added. Yes, we already covered that NJT. We're about to get in the packs right now. All right, if you guys are ready for packs, after all that talking, I literally need to drink this whole water bottle real quick. Man, I literally feel like I've been talking for about 40 straight minutes because I practically have. It's nice to get some water in. My mouth was getting a little dry. But it was getting a little dry there. So let's get some hashtag hype in the chat. Let's get these packs going. We have 100 premium packs are opening up. Ultimate packs, diamond packs, diamond player selected, three prime packs, vintage, and for the storks. We got to do this all in like 20 minutes, guys. So hashtag hype in the chat if you guys are ready. Kaching is back, baby. And let's do this thing. We'll start with the premiums. We got 100 a day. How many primes and diamonds will we see? I'm going to say three diamonds. I'm going to say three diamonds. And you know what? I'm going to say we're going to get a prime from it too. Let's see if we can get some new primes as well. I'm not saying too much, but Rivals just got hotter with the new packs, bro. Hey, I know. We'll be covering that next week. We'll be covering that next week. Some interesting stuff. You can get two TSSs. I was surprised about that. But let's do this thing. First 10 today. We start off with a diamond. That's a good start, baby. Top left hand corner, who's it gonna be? Not really gonna be useful, but upgrade. And it's not a 50 base. I'll take that as a win. <laughs> two diamonds, two primes. Back to back diamonds? Oh no, never mind. I thought I saw lightning out before my eye. Peripheral vision failed me. Keezy, what is up? Noah, how's it going? If you haven't said hello, say how's it going? Shout you guys out. All right, we start off with a diamond, nothing since. We're on 40 right here. Almost halfway through. Not looking good, not look. Oh, we did get a prime though. I said three diamonds, one prime. We got our prime right there. I told you I was filling one. I was being optimistic today. And you guys know we peak on the primes, baby. We peak on the primes. Let's take a little sneak peek. So we got a batter right here, lower eye, really low speed, decent field contact and power. What are your guys' guesses? Who do you think this is? Jonah, what is up? Anything good yet? We are just now opening packs after covering the update. We've opened 40 premium packs so far. We got a diamond and we just pulled a prime. You literally just on time, baby. New prime, yes. Is it gonna be a new prime as well? Red double X, you're right. I totally forgot to do that. We'll do it after this. We're gonna interrupt the pack opening. Let's go ahead and, you know what? Yeah, there was so much to do. Thank you. Thank you, Red double X. Bogart's 19, I don't believe this. Actually, this is a new, is this a new prime or not? I don't know. I'm not really current with the dot with the Red Sox decks. Like, so is it a new one? I think it is a new one. I could be wrong. Maybe Bogarts did have one. I don't know. Good card right there. Good card. Hello, real news. How's it going, guys? I totally forgot. Thank, shout out to Red Double X, Red Double X. When you guys first log in, go to Best Items, and you'll see the season opening special gift. It's just like the anniversary thing where you get to choose each of your four items. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I totally forgot to do this. Sorry, guys. So let's do the Team Select Diamond. Sig Pack, no doubt. Um, we'll just do the Vintages and we'll do the Premium Skills and boom. Just hit free, goes to your inbox and there you go. Totally forgot to do that. Thank you to Red Double X. Bogies was last year. Okay, so it was not a new one. Was not a new one. It's hard to keep up with all the new ones. Ben R, not a new one, okay. I thought I'd seen him before, but I just couldn't remember for sure. Andres, what's up? How long is this truth stream? About three hours? Yes, yes. One hour down almost. Just kidding, no, we're done in about 15 to 20 minutes. 
So we gotta continue to just... Alright, we got 40 left. Think your luck is bad? Please give me your luck. <laughs> I'll check it out. Hey, link it in. Send it to me on Discord, Aces. Send the link. I'll check it out. Diamond number two. Can we get one more and get my guess right today? Ah, uh, there's the Astro Troll with Ryan. I've been using him in the show, actually. Cope and pitching on... Oh, uh, that's... I, I wish if you had a skill, like a legend skill, on one set, you couldn't pull it on the other, but sadly, that's not the case. All right, we got 20 left, guys. Nothing, nothing. Hate to see it. We did get a vintage. We did get... We got Dennis, one of the new historic players. So, that's cool. That's cool. We got a vintage. Can we get a diamond on the last one? My guess was right. Three diamonds, one prime, baby. We do that. We'll move the face cam for a second. We do that, baby. Three diamonds, one prime was my guess. We did it. In a hundred. Let's go. Same time tomorrow, Carlos. No 50 base. I'll take it. That's a dub. That's a win. On the last set of 10, too, baby. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go ahead and do the ultimate pack. So we got 47 of these bad boys. How many diamonds will we get from this and primes? I'm going to say 10. 10 diamonds. No primes on this one, though. Not filling a prime from the from the ultimates. So you guess this is in there. But let's do the first 10. Boom. Start off with some blue. That's what I like to see. We got three in a set of 10. That's how we start, baby. Yes, sir. Harper 23, okay. And there's our first 50 base right there. Naylor had to ruin it. One, one, one set. Might as well give him the chocolate, triple chocolate too. <laughs> Shannon, what's up? All right, some more blue. I'm liking this, baby. Two more. Okay, we're at five. About halfway through. I'm liking it. Decent, decent. All right, no 50 bases right there. Otani, I see you in the corner, bro. All right. Some more blue. Two more. That's seven. Got 17 more after this. Grandall, 16. Not really a troll because I have his 18 sig on my Dodgers account. Some more blue. Blue every time. That's what I like to see, baby. Two more, so we're at nine. If we can get one more from the last seven, I get my guess right on ultimates in terms of diamonds, too. Buxton absolutely destroys in the show every year. Like seeing you. Last seven. Let's get some blue. Come on, just one. Just one. Ah, it was 11, which I would rather have more than what I guessed. I said 10, we got 11 today. Let's go. I'm liking this luck today. Got diamonds on every set of 10 or less. Let's see, let's see. Close to 50 base. So we only got 150 base so far. I'll take it. Upgrade material. All right, so we got 21 diamond packs. We'll open up these and then we'll clear up the reserve. And then we'll do the diamond player selective, primes, vintage, fifth historics. Doubt we get anything from these, but let's just do it. Dick Alloway, what's up, by the way? No purple, so no legends either. Any team cards? Walsh, okay. Anyone else? No. We did get a team though, I can't complain about that. Next up. No primes, no legends, no nothing like that. Got a Vado right there. Any more teams? No. We already have Blake 21, and it's not even 21, so that's not a troll. Tristan's nice right there. Okay, one more. ABT got it. Set 11. Let's go, ABT. All right, let's see this last diamond. Okay, another A's right there. Nice pass right there. Okay. All right, we need to clear up some spots real quick. Um... How much do we need? How many ultimate vintage packs do we have? 43. We're going to clear up some space. Um, Let's see. This is what we're going to do. I think we can special upgrade a little bit. Yeah, we'll just do you, Fletcher. Go to players. Let's get rid of all the silvers that we can. That's 81. Perfect. That should be enough for the rest of the stream. Yeah, that should be good.
World Series matchup prediction, Dodgers versus Yankees after the opening series. <laughs> Uh, if the Dodgers don't make it, man, which I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Like, especially with injuries and stuff. But if they don't make it, that's the biggest letdown ever. Alright, let's go ahead and do the Diamond Player Selectives. We have 13 of these now. We had 11 when I made this list, but 13. We get 7, we can refresh. Let's run through this. No team. We're flipping, we're flipping. Schwarber 23, probably gonna go with him with that insane power. This card's beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna go with Schwarber to start. Hometown kid, grew up in Middletown, went to Middletown. I live in Middletown. So, always gonna take the hometown guy. Next one, Fletcher 19. No, we're, we're risking it for the biscuit. Unless it's a prime, no. Schwarber 18, are we gonna stick with the Schwarber strap? Can we get 13 Schwarbers in a row? Schwarber 23 on the last one. We're going with Schwarber 18. I don't care if he's not the best player. I'm trying to keep the Schwarber streak alive. Come on, let's make it three for three. I need to see Schwarber again. Walsh 21. No, I'm risking for the biscuit. I gotta see Schwarber. Third time's a charm, come on. And the Schwarber streak ends. Darn it. I guess I'll take the troll on Cody, even though I have had his 19 Diamond 6 since 2021, so. Just found out where Jfish lives. You don't know where in Middletown. Do I even technically live in Middletown? That's the question. Which is in Cincinnati, Ohio, so. Alright, fourth one. We're risking it for the biscuit. Let's. Are we going to see a Prime today? We've only done it once or twice, I think. We'll go with, we'll go with Grandall. Actually, we'll go with Donaldson since he retired. All right. Well, this is the fifth one. Basia. Uh. Oh, we did get Jake. We got Jayfish to pop up. Nick Solak. Uh, we're going to go with the Astros troll. We're going to go with Lance. Opening vintage. Yep. We're opening vintages after this. We will not have time to look at cards in the chat today, guys, sadly. It's already 7.52. Still no primes yet, man. Uh, let's just go with Muncie. Already got Muncie 21 on my Dodgers deck that I have on the bench right now. Because we got bets 23 at second. I like 20. I'd, I'd actually take that card, honestly. Don't know what I would do with him, but... Otani 19, we'll take the team. We'll take the team player right there. Otani. Still no prime. Bunch of Jays cars? Yes. 2018's Jays deck is crying right now. 18 Otani. We could keep the streak going, but I'm, I'm refreshing. I want to see that prime today. Kershaw 20, we'll go with you, buddy. We got five more of these bad boys. Will we see a prime from it today? Um, we'll go with, with JT. All right, four more, four more. Another JT. What's up with these back to back with the same guys? We'll go with James. We'll go with James. All right, we got three more. Three more chances to see a prime from this today. Man, I just don't know if it's going to happen. Take the Astros troll for the one time. I'm the ground 21, you gotta pick it up. I will, Red Double X. I promise you I will. I thought for a second, I saw the Mets for like a split second. I was like, oh, there it is, but no. Obviously not the ground. I guess we'll go with the Ryu 19 troll. I mean, it's not the Dodgers deck, so I don't care. Last Diamond Player Select Effect. We have not seen a Prime today. Can we see one? Got an angel, but we're not gonna take him. Risking for the biscuit. Can we see a prime on the last refresh? And no. You know what, I'll take the team right there though. He's a 6 base, I'll take you though. I'll take you. All right guys, we got prime packs now. We got three of these bad boys. They don't really help us out, unless they're a diamond, but we got new primes, so let's just open them anyways. Sadly, you can't use all at once. 
would love to see that come in an update one day, but first one, peeking. Got ourselves most likely a bullpen guy with that stamina. The most even sat distribution I've ever seen practically. If location was 79, that would have been beautiful. Guess is in the chat. I'll give you guys a second. Let's open the blue Gatorade. Philip, any luck? We've gotten some primes and stuff. We got some diamonds, but we haven't gotten to the big packs yet. Let's go ahead and do this. Three, two, one. Pencil says Yates. Nope. Got one of the new, uh, the, this is one of the new primes, correct? I believe just added the game. Mariners right there. That Look at that. 71 location, 71 velo, 71 fastball, and 71 break. 50 stamina. That's the most even card, man. If only he was a starting pitcher and had 71 stamina, too. I believe that's a new prime. I could be wrong, but I don't think I've seen this one before. I believe he just got added. Let's go, baby. First new prime of the day. Prime or Gatorade? They're both different. It's a mood thing. Probably Gatorade still, though. Gatorade's always going to be an OG. Batter. Decent contact eye, really high power, lower speed, and lower field. Guesses on this one. New player, yes. Yes, I believe I said it was a new player as well that just got added. With Big Poppy in them. Brand spanking new, yes. All right, let's go ahead and flip this bad boy. Can we get two for two on these prime packs with new players? Granderson Levin, I know this is not new. I pulled this card about a thousand times. But I'll take it. Last one, baby. Let's see a diamond. Oh, or not. Maybe a gold? No, that's asking way too much. Let's peak. Contact power eye the same. Low speed and fielding pretty good too. So this is a pretty evenly distributed card too. <clears throat> Alright, five seconds. And then we're flipping. Give you guys some... Time to get the guesses in. Romano, what is up? All right, three, two, one. Sanai, what's up? How's it going? Gordon, is this a new one? Is Gordon a new card or not? I don't think I've ever pulled this card, so I wouldn't know. But let's look at the stats. 72, 72, 73, 72. So that's a pretty even card right there, too. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, we're good, we're good. It's allergy season, y'all. No, it's not a new one, okay. I've never pulled Gordon, I don't think, so I wouldn't know, but back into the game. Okay, so it was out, but they added it back in, but it's not new, gotcha. Gotcha. All right, so we've done everything else. We just got 43 vintage packs left, and then what we've all been waiting for, the new fifth of store packs, our first set of 10. Can we see a legend though from the 43 premium vintages? We pulled three from these in the past like six months. Can we get that luck back? Let's get hashtag le uh, legend in the chat. Thank you for the bless you guys in the chat. I appreciate it. Sneezing at the card, yes. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. First 10. Will we see the orange glow? I've never seen an orange glow on my main account from the vintage packs, but I've seen on a premium pack. And first set of 10 is nothing. Can we get some of the new players though? And we do. We just got Joe Morgan right there. <sighs> okay, okay, let's do the next 10. No orange glow on the second 10. Okay. I'll take Harvey. Would love to sig change that down the road, possibly. We have two of those. I don't know when we're going to use those, but with where we're at right now, I don't feel like we need to. Next 10. Sig packs will be the following stream, so two weeks from now. We're going to open all the sig packs along with the special TSS that is in the season package right now. No orange on the third set of 10. It may be a dry one today for Legends, which is okay. Normally, That's normally how it is. Last set of 10, and then we got three left. No diamonds so far. No orange glow. 
Maybe we're saving it all for the new Supremes, which I'm okay with that. Alright, last three. Last three chances at a legend today. And nothing. No legend today. We did get some of the new cards. But it's all good because we're saving all of our luck for these fifth of stork packs. These brand spanking new fifth of stork packs. You guys ready? Let's get hashtag Kaching in the chat if you're ready for the Kaching to come back, baby. We were one player short of the fourth of storks. I don't think we pulled Yogi. I think we pulled Stan, but I don't think we played, pulled Yogi. So we got everyone but Yogi last time. Can we get all the fifth of storks this time around? If you're ready, hashtag Kaching in the chat. And I am sad that Jackie's out of the game too. I didn't have that long to get him. I, I'm sad that I couldn't get him. Okay, let's start this thing off. First one, use it, and the first Kaching. There we go. And a normal card, silver. About as bad as it can get to start. Let's go, let's go. I'll take Morgan, but I would rather be the Supreme. First one, complete and utter failure. Next one, Kaching number two. When will we see a Supreme? Will we see one today? Back to back normal. Our vintage silver cards. You love to see it. You love to see it. Strong start today. Dennis, welcome. It's not the right Dennis. Alright, number three. This is for 150, baby. Can we at least get a gold? Can we stop getting normal silvers? Can we get a gold? Can we at least see some sort of improvement? <laughs> Hey, I know that Paul is watching this right now and he was gonna buy packs based off of this. I doubt Paul's gonna be buying based off of the way this is starting right here. So we got Morgan Reds, okay. I would love to pull Morgan. I have plenty of Morgans right now to upgrade. Kaching number four coming in. When will we see us first Supreme? Will we even see it today? All right, four normal silvers to start. Murray, okay. Ching number five. Five straight normal silvers. We can't even get a gold. We can't even get a gold. So now if this was my money, I'd be crying right now. <laughs> <There's> a... <laughs> I'd be crying. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it at that. Kaching number six. And we finally get a Supreme. Couldn't have started off any worse on fifth of stork packs. Five normal silvers. Couldn't even get a gold. And then the sixth one. Six Kaching, we get our first Supreme of the Fifth of Storks. Let's go. Finally. Whew. I was getting a little worried right there. Obviously, you guys know that I want this to be Mel. If it's Morgan, that's cool too. Honestly, any of them. Dennis too, but Mo is the main one that I want. Joe Morgan would be sweet too, being a Reds fan. Would love to get that on. Would love to get that on my Reds deck when this was a Reds deck, but it, sadly it's an Angels deck now, so it's technically not a team. But Hudson, what's up? Glad you can make it. Big packs on this one is buying them, which it's not my money on this account, thankfully. But all right, we're gonna do no look strat to the left. We're going to the basics. We're going to the fundamentals, okay? Here we go. First one, three, two, one. Who is our first fifth of store player gonna be? Let's see. Joe Morgan. Okay, you guys spoke it in existence. I saw some Joe Morgans in there. I'll take it. Being a Reds fan, obviously it's a Red Supreme card. Let's go, baby. Let's take a look at this, which we actually never looked at the stats today. I'm sorry, I, I forgot to show you guys the stats that we've been so busy. We'll check out all the stats of the cards at the end of the stream, after the pack opening, but I'll take that card any day of the week. Any day of the week at second base, baby. Which is actually really helpful for us, actually. Let's go back. Let's look at the squad. Look at the squad. Do we have a second baseman? We need a second baseman. We have him in Hifo, but his fielding is really bad, and it's not like the best card we could put there, even though it's one of the best, I think, team second baseman sigs. Joe Morgan might be going to second base. I know we're prioritizing team sigs over Supremes now, but the team sigs have to be like top tier. 
which I don't consider Renhifa top tier. So I think Joe Morgan might be going to second, baby. Yes, sir. Can we get another one? Kaching number seven. And it's a diamond, please be a Supreme. Okay, no, that's asking too much. That's too much. Hey, it's not a silver though. We're making, we're making improvements. Saw Supreme, now we're seeing a diamond. It's nice to see some improvements. And Joe Morgan, we got like 37 Joe Morgans to upgrade them. So it's actually a good thing that we just pulled that Supreme. <clears throat> All right, next one. The Ching number eight. And we got a gold. And it's another Dennis. Two more left. Can we see one more Supreme? Or are we just gonna get the lonely Joe Morgan today? All right, we're back to the silver normals. Hate to see it. Murray, okay, like seeing the Dodger. Like seeing the Dodger right there. Even though this isn't the Dodger count. Last fifth historic pack today. We've already gotten one. It was Joe Morgan in terms of Supremes. Can we get one more? Can we finish it off with a bang? Ka-ching number 10. And no, a gold normal. So we saw a diamond vintage and then we saw a Supreme through the first out of 10. Not too shabby. Better than the second store packs where we didn't get a Supreme for 43 straight packs. So we're already ahead of the game compared to the second Storks. Who is this going to be? And back-to-back -back Murray's to finish off. But I'll take Joe Morgan. I forgot that we needed a second baseman too. So that's actually, besides Mo, Joe Morgan was actually the main card we needed out of the set of five. That's perfection. Perfection. Let's look at the collection real quick. So Joe, Joe Morgan, we just saw. We'll show it again here for a second. Joe Morgan, so 77 base stat card. Technically, he's not the highest base with Kershaw 16. And I believe there are some other Supremes that had some 78s and then DeGrom has a 78. But beautiful card right there. Definitely gonna go in at second base with where we're at right now, which I don't think we have lots of great cards at second base for the Angels. I mean, Brandon's okay. Really low eye though, good fielding though. Fletcher, really good fielding, but really low power and eye. Renhifo, really awful fielding and low eye, which is what we have. And then Fletcher, 20. So like, we don't have a lot of good team sig options at set, second base. So Morgan literally might just be at second base from here on out. We might not even try and put a team sig there. I mean, Fletcher we could, but I would rather have a Supreme Morgan that we have. Like, I'm gonna prioritize team sigs, but if there's not great options, like Morgan is the ideal guy and we got him. So let's go. Hype about that. I'm hype about that. And then let's go to the A's real quick for Dennis. Let's show off his overall base stats right there. Solid looking card. Then we'll show off Mo real quick. Mo's looking beautiful. We got to get this card. We already have Hoffman. I believe Hoffman's the only Supreme bullpen guy we've had, but now I got two here. <clears throat> and then I believe what were the other decks that we had that I think a Cardinal right yeah Bob Gibson I'm trying to remember the other one Bob Gibson's beautiful right there I'd take him but he probably wouldn't do anything right now he probably wouldn't replace anyone that we have and then who's the last guy that I'm blanking on I always blank on someone who's the last one I'm missing oh Murray with the with the O's I'm sorry. Easy. He even has a Dodger card. How could I forget Murray? I'm sorry, buddy. And then Murray. That's that card right there playing first base. Beautiful card there as well. Honestly, this whole lineup is good. I would love to get Mo. would love to get Dennis. We already got Morgan. Murray's cool, but Mo and Morgan were the main ones we want along with Dennis. Bullpen guys, bullpen guys, bullpen guys. So I'll take it. Let's get some hashtag dubs in the chat for that back opening. Yes, sir. That's how you start. And you know what? It is time to give the coupon code. It's already 809. Goodness gracious. Let's give that out. Two premium packs and a skill training ticket. We're putting that in the chat right now. If you're on iOS, Apple devices, you have to use the link. But if you're on Android, you can use the in-game version as well. We're going to do that because we're playing on an Android device today. Red Double X says hashtag E for Joe Morgan. Wow. Maybe one day, H-Town. What's up, brother? I don't know if I said hello. I've seen you in there, but I don't know if I said hello. Jay Calloway. Good to see you here. All right, so if we go to event in here, hit that gold thing up at the top, go to enter coupon code behind my face cam, hit on the banner right here, and if you type in nine innings, 
uh, 24 APR, which is the end of that URL after the slash after 509. Hit enter and you'll get the coupon code redeem. Go to your inbox and you'll see two premium packs and a skill training ticket. Sent by 9 inch 24. Boom, and there we go. And that is it for this stream and pack opening. Sounds good, Carlos, sounds good. Ert, what's up? What'd you miss? Uh, we pulled Mo, or not Mo. We did pull Mo, we pulled Morgan. Uh, we pulled Joe, Mo Joe Morgan, got some primes and diamonds and stuff in there, so I'd say it was pretty successful, given that we need a second base. Wanna show a chat what a max supreme card looks like? I would love to, Paul, but we literally have to hop out now. We're already 10 minutes over time. We will look at cards, hopefully at the end of the next stream. I can't show off one card and then not let anyone else get shown off, so. <laughs> Appreciate you joining today though, brother. Like I said, if you are watched, if you're on an iOS device, you can't do that way, you have to use the link, but if you're on Android, you can use the link or what I just showed you. But that is it, guys, that is it. So if you guys have not already liked and subscribed, we'd highly appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching, hanging with us today. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out the Rivals channel as well and subscribe there if you haven't. And uh, we'll be back on the Rivals channel next week with some more MLB Rivals at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And then two weeks from now, we'll be back on this channel with nine innings with this account. And we'll be opening, I believe, a bunch of SIG packs. Everything here in terms of SIG packs, the special TSS. It's going to be a crazy one. That's all I'm going to say. All these team packs and everything, it's going to be crazy. But, um, yeah. So you guys have a great night. Stay safe. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.